This time we will continue with JWT role based authorization. We will create a my role converter in this tutorial. Then we will continue to create a my custom authentication converter and a my custom authentication token. We start the code with the new record we created. This record my JWT user has all the fields from our my user class, but as string, we use this record to transfer all the info to the JWT token. Next we go to the token service class. We have extended this class with some claims. As you can see you can customize the JWT token with a number of claims. If you only need the authorities then you can omit the my user claim. If you want to use the full my user info then you give the my user claim along with the JWT token and the authorities claim can be omitted because the authorities are in the my user. The choice is yours. Here is an example I give them both along with the token. The classes we have discussed so far are used to place claims in the token. The classes that follow next are used to filter the claims from the token and convert them to the original object. The first converter we will discuss is the my role converter class. If you only want to use the roles then this class is sufficient. Here the roles are filtered out of the JWT token and returned as a granted authority object. If you want to filter all the info of the logged in user from the JWT token then you need an authentication converter and an authentication token. The My Custom Authentication Converter class implements the converter interface and as one method, convert. Here the authorities in the My User are filtered out of the JWT token and passed to the My Custom Authentication Token class. The My Custom Authentication Token class extends the Abstract Authentication Token class. Here we can customize various fields to suit our needs. Those who have followed the tutorial Spring Security Part 11 recognize the setup of this class. The My Security Authentication call from that tutorial is almost identical to the class we use here. Finally we have to bring everything together in the Security Config class. Here you have two options either use the My Role Converter in the JWT Authentication Converter bean and pass this bean into the OAuth2 resource server as a JWT Authentication Converter or leave out to the JWT Authentication Converter bean and pass the My Custom Authentication Converter into the OAuth2 resource server configuration. Both options work fine and depend on the needs of the project. We can start the project a first time with the current configuration. We are now using the My Role Converter class. I am going to log in with Insomnia and in the meantime we can follow what is happening in the console window. First we are going to log in with the developer account to get a token. In the console you can see that we are using the username password authentication token class. After that we can log into the admin page with the JWT token. In the console you can see that we are using the JWT authentication token class and the details of the token are printed out. You can see that no my user data is printed out, only the granted authorities are available. Now if we switch the configuration from our role converter to my custom authentication converter and start it up again we do the same tests. First we are going to log in with the developer account to get a token. In the console you can see that we are using the username password authentication token class. After that we can log into the admin page with the JWT token. In the console you can see that we are using the My Custom Authentication token class. You can see that now it does print all the My User data along with the granted authorities. This is the end of this tutorial. In the next video we will create an additional login possibility. It will be possible to provide the username and password with the body of the request. Thank you. Like, comment, share, and subscribe.